It's rodeo season. Big Texas cowboy stuff. Welcome to the rodeo, Houston, Texas, 2024. Being born and raised in Houston, I've probably managed to go to the rodeo three times that I can recall vividly. Um, part of the reason is due to the excessive amount of traffic that you'll see in these video clips. This year I was actually invited by my friend Howard who you'll see in the video. You may know him already because he's in previous YouTube videos on my channel, but we were at the gym one night and he told me he had some guest passes to bring a few friends along to the rodeo so I got invited so hey why not free trips to the rodeo grab some food see some events some concerts so how could you say no to that as soon as we got started with our travel to head towards NRG Stadium we were quickly reminded of how dense the Houston traffic is I used to live over by NRG Stadium and Honestly, every time the rodeo season would come around, it would just take forever to get anywhere in Houston. It's probably one of the main reasons why I moved away from that side of town, just to get out of the madness, get out of the chaos of the Houston traffic. Driving from the north side of Houston to get to NRG Stadium with rush hour traffic and rodeo traffic, I would say it probably took us at least an hour, 15 minutes to get to NRG Stadium. Once we were in the proximity of NRG Stadium, it was just all bumper to bumper. One of the more challenging aspects of arriving at NRG Stadium is finding where do we park. Once we arrived on the shuttle bus because we found the correct parking spot, this is when my friend Howard relays the news upon me that he was under the impression that a certain artist was performing tonight. However, he got the nights confused. You know what? I'm going to just so let him explain like that. like an hour right here. and a half, maybe. I'm trying to go what? Two and a half miles. Yep. Finally at the rodeo. My bro made it. He thought it was Bum B night. <laughs> Even though I have the right date on my calendar. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, bro. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm flying up to see my fiance in like two days later. Hey. I can't multitask. Bro, get your life together, man. Come on, man. All right, we're going to update you once we get inside in our G and everything else. Stay tuned. Wait, hold it up again. Let me see. <laughs> so now that we've gotten past the realization that Bun B isn't performing tonight at the Houston Rodeo, at least we know we can go enjoy the food. The biggest thing I wanted was a funnel cake. That's kind of like my favorite thing to go to if I'm at a carnival or something like the rodeo. Um, let's see what we think about the food here. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you rate this? Six. Six. Yeah. Like a four. You don't have no like Keith Lee review. No. No. Toss on four. Was it worth thirty-eight dollars? Dang, bro, that's crazy. Okay, so we just got food at the rodeo. Well, Howard did. Thirty-eight dollars later. Overall review of the food: six out of ten, or is it more like a five? Five, five out of ten. Thirty-eight dollars. We're gonna find something else to try. Our wallets are probably gonna be tapped by the end of the night. It's okay, yes, it is what it is. We're gonna keep rolling. After we try some of the food, Howard mentioned that one of his friends has a suite inside the stadium, so we decided to go attempt to meet up with them, find them in all the chaos and madness. I mean, there was a lot of people out tonight at NRG Stadium, but it was a fun event. The rides, the food, just seeing everyone being themselves and having a good time. All right, so we're looking for a certain suite number. I don't know the suite number. Jerome doesn't know the suite number. We're just walking about to figure this out. Bro. Since the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo began in 1932, more than $600 million has been committed to the youth of Texas in education. At the time of me recording this video in 2024, 
current total amount that has been raised is $27 million. One of the reasons why I bring this up is because the suite that we were in has contributed to that large sum of money, making an impact on the youth and students here in the Texas community. And even though Bun B wasn't performing that night, one thing that I took from the rodeo this year is that it's more so than looking forward to your favorite artists. It's also about looking into the community and see how the outreach and impact is contributing to uplift the lives of others. So with that being said, thank you for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Rodeo. 2K24.